Hello everyone, I am Mohamed Rahman, a mechanical engineer, and I've created this channel to showcase the works of my company, to showcase the, the engines that we're working on and the cars, the electric cars that we're working on, also to showcase our solutions for sustainable energy homes. So please subscribe to this channel, all right? So uh, um, what happened is I've had Google Fi phone plan for approximately four months or so. But uh, um, recently, a few days ago, my iPhone just stopped sending picture messages. Uh, again, because of this, I went online and uh, I read some articles on this issue and I was able to look at different solutions, different suggestions. And this specific uh, um, solution um, that I'm going to share right now is actually that um, is actually what works um, to fix my iPhone, the, to fix the, 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 the picture messages um, problem. So again, the steps are very simple and it's only a few steps. And, and, and if you just, um, um, you know, go through the slides with me, you should be able to um, resolve the issue, or at least um, this is what works for my iPhone. All right. So um, on your iPhone, on the settings, on the iPhone, go to your settings and then from there, go to um, cellular. OK, so from from there, go to um, cellular data network. And then when you are on that screen on your iPhone, scroll all the way down to the to, to the to the MMS section. All right. And then, of course, you're going to see some fields. You're going to see some forms that you will need to enter some values. But also note that there are, um, them, there are other fields, other forms as well, which might have some values. And then you just, but you're just going to leave those forms alone. But these two specific forms that you have to update, that you're going to have, then you, you have to modify this form. If there's any values right now in those forms, remove those values. But if there are no values in those forms, then that's fine. All you have to do, just type in this 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 value, then then hopefully this should also work um, for your iPhone as well. So on the on the again on the MMS section, you should see the the form that is labeled MMSC. So basically, on that form on that field, type in this exact um, website or URL. So type in this exact um, um, website, this, type in this exact value on that section. And then on the next section that you're going to change or modify is the, the, the section that is the, the form that is labeled MMS max message size. So on that form, type in this value exactly, type in this number, all right? So again, there might be other forms on this section, on this page, you're not doing anything with those other sections. Just leave those like they are, and then type in this 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 information on those two forms, and then again check everything and make sure you type everything exactly as they are on this on as they as they're shown on the slide. You know, go through them, make sure everything is typing correctly, and then when everything is, when you're done, basically your screen should look exactly like this slide. Again, check it, make sure everything is, is, is correct. Make sure your screen is exactly um, like this slide. And when you're done with that, basically all you have to do is um, exit, that, exit that screen, exit that page on your iPhone, and then restart your phone. So basically this is what I did um, to resolve the issue for my iPhone. And again, after doing this, my iPhone, you know, starts sending picture messages again. And again, this works for me. And hopefully, um, if you do if you do this correctly, it should work for your iPhone as well. So basically, this is all I want to discuss um, for this video. So please subscribe to this channel. And again, thanks for watching and thanks for listening.